Hi everybody, Mario here for RI Tennis Academy and today I'm gonna continue with tip number two about your forehand. I left you in the last one with the racket here which is in the same angle that it was when it is on your ready position in front. You basically just turn to the side and the angle continues and then that angle remains until you reach the back. Now next I'm going to explain to you what comes after that while you swing the racket. So you're going to be on your ready position and we saw that in tip number one. The angle is there, you're going to turn, keep the angle, keep the angle and you get to this position. The racket drags the left arm to here. The racket is here in the angle and it's, it's okay if it is a little higher, if it is a little lower, you'll see that difference in some of the pros. When it gets to here, now you are going to rotate the racket head around your wrist. Try not to move your arm to rotate the racket because that's going to take the racket, as you can see, all the way back here, which you don't want to do because then again it's going to, it's going to cause a timing issue that is going to make it harder for you to time the ball that is going to be right here to be hit. So what you want to do is when you get the racket here, rotate it around your wrist, it drops now. And as you're dropping it and rotating it, you start to rotate your body forward. If you were sideways, it would look like this. I take the racket back and then rotate and turn. So it's rotate and turn. In some of the players on the Pro Tour, you see that the racket, when it rotates, it actually, as they start to rotate the body, they start to rotate the racket. Some of them actually rotate the racket first and it kind of hides a little behind your body as you can see but not all the way there it hides a little bit here Nadal does this for example and then it just snaps in front so you see that rubber like motion very very clear on his swing and then the racket goes across very fast that's why he can create such a tremendous racket hit speed Another reason why it's so important that the racket gets back here in the angle and not like this is because you want a full revolution of the racket head going around your wrist to hit the ball. You don't want to take anything away from that speed that can gather when the racket goes around. If your head is like this or like this back here, you just took away a little bit of momentum that it gathers when it goes from here to there. So instead of that little bit that is gathering speed here to go to here if you take it here you took that away making your racket move just a little bit slower and causing a little bit less spin to go on the ball and sometimes the ball going out missing or not being heavy enough for your opponent I hope this helped you a lot this is Mario Jano for RI Tennis Academy you can do it